United Nations mission in South Sudan, in partnership with the Joint Verification and Monitoring Mechanism, has held a workshop in Juba to help communicate the principles, processes, roles and responsibilities in the new guidelines. This will ensure unhindered access to communities in need. UN MIS regularly deploys force protection teams to conflict hot spots and accompany humanitarian convoys on insecure routes in support of the delivery of humanitarian assistance. The main aim of this joint venture is also to ensure communities can look forward to a future of stability and prosperity. Here today is part of an effort to work better together in service of our shared objectives, even if we encounter differences of approach and points of difference in the past. Working together with respect for each other's responsibilities will make us stronger. That this workshop is very central for trust building and for us to be able to open a new page in how to coordinate our activities between various institutions of security of our country and the United Nations mission in South Sudan. I'm, I'm really hopeful because it is actually I made it with the Deputy Force Commander. We, we made all these things, we discussed it, we made a verbal discussion and we went for implementation and he reached this stage. So I'm very much hopeful because actually this is our mate. Both of us, myself and Yurimbis, we made it together. And that's why the command came today. This is a great day. I'm very pleased that we have succeeded in bringing all the main pillars of both UNMIS and the SSPDF together here in Juba for this workshop today. I think we all agree that UNMIS relationship with the government forces and in particular to the JVMM in the recent days is much cordial and understanding than before. It could only be possible because of very close interactions, regular visits all around by building mutual trust by sharing the information at every level, leaders and staff, and solving any challenges amicably through discussion and dialogue.